Good evening, Internet. It's Jason here from Godlike Productions once more. It's been a little while, and I apologise for that. I have been busy and even tired of been doing lots of cool stuff for the H9000. But I have taken a little bit of a break from developing the vocoder because it's doing my head in. And I'm going to show you something else that I've been working on. So I've got a few algorithms on, on the way at the moment. Uh, one's a bit of an experimental one, but this one is fairly simple. It's just a transformer saturator. So basically you feed an audio signal in and you can simulate basically saturating a transformer, overdriving it, um, you know, making bad things happen to the signal. This is meant as a more of a sort of distortion or yeah, more uh, kind of distortion or overdrive or, um, yeah, it breaks up your audio anyway, so it doesn't look, doesn't sound pretty, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, it's a, it's a, a pretty simple uh, algorithm, but I'll just run through the controls that we have here. So we're going to wet-dry within the transformer. Uh, this is also driven by the kill dry, so if you turn that on, that'll, I don't think it actually shows you, but it will bypass pretty much the entire algorithm. Uh, you've got uh, an input gain, and this is compensated at the output. So if you turn this up, what it will do is it's going to overdrive the transformer part, but it will turn the volume down afterwards. Uh, the output trim, that just adjusts the output level after compensation. So uh, as you can imagine, if you're driving a transformer fairly hard, you're going to saturate and get to a maximum level. So if you keep pushing that gain up, um, you're going to start losing some volume. So you may need to just boost a little bit with the output trim. Um, and then we've got some transformer specific uh, parameters here. We've got the number of turns on the transformer. That's the number of bits of wire that go around it. The ratio. So if you've got this ratio compensation off, um, this ratio will act like a bit like a volume control, but it's to do. It's actually done within the transformer algorithm itself. So what it's going to do, it will, it, you know, it can boost your volume and uh, start overdriving. Area is what your um, your cross-sectional area of the transformer is. Usually, the bigger is a higher power handling, and lower is generally cheaper. Gear has got smaller transformers. Um, you know they're cheaper because there's less metal in them. So bringing this down will tend to make it sound a little bit tinnier. Saturation is uh, where the transformer saturates, and you can go positive or negative on this, which you can't do in a real thing. Uh, output trim I've explained, and pan left and right. This is on the output of the transformer, so you can. Say so you might be able to change the wet dry and you can switch the left and right around so you can have a stereo signal coming in, but the out you can flip the sides on the output if you want to. Um, and then the ratio compensation on or off, so that's whether or not this ratio gets taken into a place. So if you put this ratio up to 10, um, this will turn it down by that same factor on the output. So the idea of the compensation is that you can make changes within the transformer algorithm um, without affecting your volume. So you can actually just hear what this is doing. Um, this algorithm sounds pretty good if you are clipping um, or if you're pushing right up into the top of the, the bus, as you'll hear in a second. And yeah, that's it. So I've got a couple of, uh, I've just got a couple of tracks that I'm, or a couple of sounds I'm gonna play. One's just a very simple drum pattern, um, just to hear it on the drum bus, cause that's more what I was thinking about it with and another one is just a little snippet of a track that we're working on at the moment um, which has got uh, basically synth synth and drum parts and we'll just sort of hear how that goes when we start pushing it all right i'm going to turn the microphone off now and we're going to play some music and have a listen to it <laughs>
Alrighty, so there was a quick demo of the um, Transformer Saturate. I will make this available to the public for free um, probably in a month or so. It's going to be free for subscribers as of probably whenever you've seen this video. Um, so if you want to become a subscriber and get access to some of this new or some of the early get early access and some premium algorithms head over to buy me a coffee um, there'll be a link down below and um, sign up or you can buy algorithms individually or you can just um, yeah sign up to get get your hand on the goodies uh, I've got a, a couple of other experimental ones that I'm working on one of them is a um, it's sort of like a volume chaser so essentially what you do is you set a volume target and there's an algorithm inside that that will chase the gain will chase um to automatically try and give you that volume um so this is using a bit of my industrial automation background and using some algorithms that generally don't get used in audio but uh yeah i've just thought of um a bit of an alternative to a compressor so it's really like a it's like slowly riding um, a fader uh, to bring it up to a, a volume. So if you're getting different volumes in your source material, and it's mainly aimed at slow moving things. Um, yeah, so that's really the idea of that. Or you can automate it and bring it up slowly and it is rate limited. So it will, you know, you can set a new target and it will slowly ramp up um, to that new volume or ramp down or whatever you want but anyway that will be coming up soon uh, i haven't tested that uh very much at the moment so i still need to do a bit of work on that i uh, still working on 32 voice vocoder uh hopefully um getting a little bit closer to that now uh but yeah it's proving to be tricky <laughs> anyway thanks all for signing in big thank you to all of my subscribers um I'll put a thank you at the end of the video um, just to remind you that your support really is valued. It gives me impetus to keep doing these things and these videos and creating new algorithms for you all. Anyway, thank you all and I'll sign out now and talk to you again soon. Bye.